we're going to have a look at our upwind technique in strong wind and how we keep the boat driving. To help us break this down, we're going to have a look at four topics over the next four videos. Sail setup, body weight, main sheet and steering. Our sail wants to get progressively flatter as the wind increases, giving us less power and helping us stay flat. We flatten and tighten our luff by reducing the number of twists and lowering our boom. And as the mast starts to bend, we also want to straighten the luff by tightening our throat and bottom sail ties. Our kicker also wants to tighten as the wind increases. This helps flatten the sail. But it also has the added benefit of giving us stability off the wind. We flatten the foot of the sail by increasing our outhaul tension. Smaller sailors may even want horizontal creases when rigging up on the shore. The sprit also gets tightened up in stages, always aiming for a few speed creases. And our mars drake moves forward slightly, keeping the boom parallel to the deck due to an increased kick tension. But most importantly, balancing the helm out, helping keep the bow down and the boat driving forward. However, when we reach the tipping point and the boat begins to feel overpowered, we now ease the sprit, allowing the top section of the sail to just fall away. To counteract this, we now must move our mast rate backwards again to rebalance the boat as the centre of effort has now moved forward. When we're in this overpowered setup, we can also raise our centre board two to three inch, which will also help us keep the boat flat and therefore driving forwards upwind. Thank you.